Reporting the family of a firefighter killed in a tragic car accident in Jacksonville. We're going to be supporting them through the 225K because it's making a big comeback here this year. This story and much more making the cut this morning with Eden Kendall from 99.9 Gator Country and our very own River City Live. Good morning, Eden. Good morning. It's nice to see you this morning in your blue. You look so pretty. Well, thank you, sunshine. I pay her to say that. <laughs> Appreciate that. Well, you um, wouldn't have to. Oh. Well, the, this run is such a big deal, though, because I know with the cupcake run, that was the, his daughter came out. So she and, and and her dad, this was their this was their passion. They loved this. Okay, so yeah, and you know the story of Chris Swery. You've talked about it before in the morning. So one picture that always makes the rounds is this one of Chris and his daughter Haley. She's now four, mm -hmm. running in the Daddy's Girl 222K, which is a race that our foundation, the Easy Peasy Kids Fitness Foundation, puts on. They were in it for both years, and we were actually not planning to bring this race back this year, just because there's a lot going on. Everybody kind of had different. things. Things happening, but then this story broke when Chris Swery was tragically killed in a car accident. He had already signed up for a race that happened in April called the Cupcake Run, and I think we have a picture of all of the firefighters banding together because Chris and Haley owe some video. That's even better. They all ran with her because Chris wasn't there to run. They had signed up; it was to be her first ever 5K, and they all out. ran with her. I so. Know. Uh, after that, her mom, Lindsay, and another firefighter, Cheryl, <laughs> got with me so and cool. asked if we would consider bringing back the 2-2 race as the Chris Swery Memorial 5K because that was their favorite. So we're looking at some other pictures from the Daddy's Girl 2-2-2-K portion of that where daddies and daughters run together in tutus. We had some really great costumes year after year. And I actually had Valerie go through and just select the ones she thought you'd like to see, to see the most <laughs> because we could go for days showing these adorable pictures of dads and their daughters. But it's a regular 5K too. So for anybody who likes to get out and run or walk a 5K, the, this is for everybody, not just families, individuals as well. And all of the proceeds raised will benefit the Swery girls as they grow up. This is just something that will always be run in Chris's memory and then also to benefit the family. So 222K is the website to get registered and uh, that's T-U-T-U-2K. Uh, okay. So now we're moving on to the story that I told you about a few minutes ago when we were live Facebooking with everybody, and that is a very sweet gesture made by a man whose wife had lost her pinky. I don't know the backstory on how that happened. I know that her name is Libby Sanders, and she had a really difficult time adjusting to mm -hmm. the loss of her digit. So one day she was painting her fingernails, and she was lamenting to her husband, Matt, that this just bummed her out all the time. So he said, here's what we're going to do from now on. My pinky is your pinky, Aww. and for the rest of our lives, I will wear a matching pinky nail color with whatever you paint your nail. So there it is, her Aww. hand over his, his pinky is oh, finishing sweet. it off. And for the rest of their lives together, he has pledged to wear that color on his pinky finger. I just wanted to share that That's story so with you sweet. because I wanted to leave you with a double Kleenex morning. I yes, know, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. I still have all those uh, those mommy hormones raging. Yes, I, I know. really appreciate that. I know. Now, coming up today on River City Live, we are telling you the story of a woman who faked sick to get out of a date and it went very awry, but we are asking you on our Facebook page right now to tell us a dating horror story, something that you had to bail out of. So go to River City Live TV and check us out on Facebook and then come back and join us at 11 o'clock to hear everybody's stories. Now, is it sad that I have two, I have like two just Instantly. running through my, oh yeah, you know them. When you have them, you know them. Oh, they come right to mine. They do, they do. Well, have a great show. Thanks. Thanks, Eden.